Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I have a blocked nose and a sore throat. So if my voice is a little bit off, that's the reason. As you guys know, China is facing an epidemic, the coronavirus. So in today's video, I'm not going to be drinking a corona. I'm going to be sipping on some Chinese beer. This is one of the gifts that I mentioned that I got from my school to celebrate the Chinese Lunar New Year as you can see here it has 2020 and then China has its own zodiac signs which are like animals don't at me I don't know what it means but at least I know that part <laughs> and 2020 is the year of the mouse I don't know what it symbolizes but um, yeah hopefully one day I can do a video explaining all of that once I've made once I've done my research so, before we get started, please like and subscribe, okay? <laughs> okay, let me just open this. Ooh. You guys, this is like one liter. As you can see there, it says one liter. It's one liter of beer and you know... I haven't tried it out yet and I probably shouldn't because I have a cold but I'm gonna do it anyway because this video is gonna be I hope I don't make it long but this is an important video and once again I'm on holiday it's Lunar New Year celebrations I don't want to drink lots I mean I drink water but I don't want to drink water <laughs> so let me take a sip Wait a minute. It tastes weird. It tastes really weird. I can't describe the taste, but hmm. Anyway, it's five percent alcohol. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this one liter. It's equivalent to ingudu. But eh. anyway, let's get into this video. So let me put my beer over here. In today's video, I want to discuss with you guys some of the important things that you need to pack for yourself and prepare before you move to China. So let's get started with that. Okay, let's get started. All right, so number one. Yeah, I know this beer is making me talk funny. Mm. This is how happy I am when I'm not going to work, you guys. Like, it's like a hoo ha moment. Anyway, number one is medication. So, a lot of people have a. A lot of people, because of the jet lag, okay, you feel a bit offish. You get a cold fever. You know what I mean when you get here? I did it when I moved here, but most people do. So, I would definitely, definitely advise for you to get some med lemon, some Vicks some vitamins, um, any any medication that you feel like you will need for your duration, um, for the duration of your job contract, or just before you before you, you take a visit back to South Africa, please pack medication. That is very important. I didn't, but we're not here to talk about me. We're here to help you. Okay, so yeah, please make sure that you do pack that. And then number two, number two is spices, spices, spices. This is not just for the ladies, okay guys, like even for the men, spices are very important. Once again, I did not, but you should, just so that you're not frustrated with all the new um, food that you'll be eating just to have like a bit of like you know taste of home spices like your chicken spice steak and chop spice aromat 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 ah i miss aromat so much you know aromat works with everything so yes number two please make sure that you do pack your spices number three for the ladies feminine products make sure you guys yeah it's expensive like it's so expensive and guys cover your ears but ladies <laughs> um 
unless you buy online which in your first month you won't because of the processing of your bank account and all of those things you won't be able to shop online so you will not be able to buy tampons i would definitely recommend that you bring enough to last you for the first three months okay any feminine products that you do use stock up makeup as well this shade don't have this shade okay you're going to struggle so do make sure that you stock up on your makeup and feminine products and then toiletries okay the next one is toiletries toiletries are super super important okay <laughs> thing is over here you are going to pay double the price like i am shocked at how expensive vaseline vaseline is and then when it comes to body lotion it has whitening in it so you go and you think no this is a normal nivea but then no honey it's not it has whitening cream in it so yeah please make sure that you stock up enough toiletries once again to last you your first three months and also just to save you yeah just to save money okay so we have the medication we have the spices we have the feminine products and we have the toiletries okay i don't want to break down the list for you because i mean everyone has a own personalized list of toiletries and stuff like that but you know what i mean you know what i mean and then yeah you guys i'm just trying to think of the important things that you need i didn't make a list or anything i'm just you know thinking out of my head um what else what else what else what else what else yeah i think that's pretty much it because i mean you are moving here for a long time but you don't have to pack up your whole life okay just the things that i just mentioned are some of the important things that you should definitely bring along with you when you do come to china so yeah let's have another soup so in terms of being able to contact your family members when you do arrive here i would definitely suggest that you get a virtual private network a vpn i use astral some use express vpn please comment down below if you are in china and there's other vpns that you use and you think are effective please recommend to people who are going to watch this video so go down into the comment section and please leave a comment on any vpn that you are using or have experience on and yeah if you are still if you are still in the process of getting your things together and you haven't come to china yet please try and find um free vpns to use like maybe for your first month or whatever they they do exist i know express vpn gives you a 30-day free trial which is what i did and that definitely helped me um settle in when i did arrive here okay so now I want to get into the part where I want to talk about the cost of living. This was someone's question in one of my comments, um, in one of my videos, and I'm going to be really, really honest about the cost of living. So if you come to China and you are not open, I mean, mo like majority of us are not open to trying out new food because we have this own idea of like what we think they eat and like oh i will never eat that you know what i mean like we have our own opinions and already like that ruins the experience for you so when you do get here you question everything before you put it in your mouth and that's gonna cost you because when you come here you're gonna get excited okay you're gonna see burger king you're gonna see kfc you're gonna see mcdonald's and you are going to want to eat that for the whole month no boo boo it does not work that way you have to try and eat chinese food it's cheaper or just buy groceries okay so to be really really honest with you if i give you an amount based on just food that you're going to need for your first month in china i would definitely say four to five thousand rand just to be safe also this means that you will not eat um mcdonald's kfc and burger king every day okay you will actually buy some groceries and cook for yourself just to survive the first month okay and then another thing i wanted to say is that um the currency is two to one china being the highest and then um so you will probably spend 
one five to two which is four thousand rand but just so that you don't go broke i would definitely say budget around four point five to five thousand rand for your first month however i know like most people move to china and before you do that you already quit your job and you've already invested so much some people also buy their own flight tickets so financially it's a lot but i will say that with just um how much 4,000 rand which is a thousand RMB you can survive but that means you will not be eating KFC you will not be eating McDonald's and you will not be eating Burger King you'll just be buying your normal groceries and eating that also I did want to say that the food prices are pretty much the same as they are in South Africa it's just that if you want to buy brands that you know maybe if you're in a bigger city and you go to the shops that have um, things like um, how can I make this example? But not South African products, but like maybe Australian products. Um, those, those products are more expensive. Anything that's not from China is going to be a bit more expensive. So when you do move this side, please think about that. Be cautious of that. Don't just go grabbing anything you want, okay? Um, just to make sure that you survive your first month. The reason why I'm making this video is because when you do sign that contract and you come here, you don't get paid just like in South Africa, for example, you start a job on the 2nd of January and then people get paid on the 15th. So you still get paid. No, it does not work like that here. Here you have to work the full month and then you get paid on the pay date of the next month. That's why it's so important for you to watch how you spend your money and what you spend your money on majority of the things that you will need is food that's all you will need most schools do offer accommodation which is fully furnished and oh yes one more thing i'm talking so fast i don't know why let me chill yeah i did want to say if you can pack a mattress protector or um bedding like your own pillowcases and a sheet um, just a tiny little blanket for yourself for the airplane as well as when you get to your apartment there's no guarantee your apartment will be clean don't know there's no guarantee that it will have bedding or even if it does you're gonna question it you don't know who was lying in that bed before you you know what I mean so just to make yourself comfortable for when you do arrive here pack your own pillowcases from home or your, your own bed sheets and just bring a blanket along for yourself to make sure that you settle in well. Alright guys, this is my personal experience. Don't at me if you have anything else to add. If you are in China, please leave a comment down below if there's anything that I left out. And you want to help people who are thinking about moving to China or are in the process of getting their things together to move here. Please help me. My help them. phone is like facing the sun the temperature got a bit hot and the video turned off but i did want to say yes please help me help those that are on their way here so if you do have your own personal experiences please leave a comment down below and once again thank you thank you for tuning into my video see you in the next one mm.